another client he wanted uh, to uh, include some laboratory uh, that is equipments so what are the laboratory equipments required for uh, generally for any paint shop so before concluding this uh, technical series uh, he wanted me to include uh, that aspect also so that is why i am sharing this document with you now um, first of all you should uh, have a very good uh, working table preferably you can have some granite top and then that is uh, you can have some uh, glass plate for checking the flow of any liquid okay so the based on the flow you can have some idea about the viscosity clarity color of the either the resin or the paint that can be studied clearly and then uh, that is uh, you can uh, use these uh, graduated glass beakers uh, for measuring the volume and also for storing some of the reagents and uh, nowadays the uh, polypropylene uh, measuring cups can also be used i would uh, suggest in the case of a nano ceramic coating you will have some uh, uh, fluoride chemical so in that case you can avoid uh, uh, what you call uh, that is a glass because that will etch the surface of the glass so uh, some people that is uh, whether they uh, include these uh, fluorides uh, knowingly or unknowingly but it is always uh, to uh, i mean to be on the safe side you can have such type of a polypropylene measuring cup whenever you have some etching so you can avoid uh, the dissolution of glass surfaces also and thereby it will give some erratic results so in that case if you find or if you have a doubt the pre about the presence of fluoride content in your uh, test i mean reagents totally avoid glass beakers instead you can use polypropylene uh, measuring jars and cups then the stainless steel palette knife so this is also a very important one uh, so this is useful for uh, uh, mixing the uh, that is a pig i mean a paste or paints and uh, in fact that is a we want to study the mass tone and reduced tone of the pigment so uh, for this purpose this kind of uh, uh, is also called a doctor's blade so these palette knives are very useful for mixing and testing and then the measuring jar for testing thinners so you should have such type of uh, thinners uh, i mean uh, measuring jar of various capacity starting from 50 to at least 1 liter 50 ml to 1 liter okay and uh, in fact uh, you need some uh, hydrometer also in order to measure the specific gravity of the liquid and this is the hydrometer and you have to keep the liquid pour the liquid inside then you can make this uh, hydrometer floating on that and based on the floating level you can measure the specific gravity of the liquid and this is called uh, fourth cup so this is fourth cup b4 this is useful for measuring the viscosity of the paint or some resins it is given in terms of uh, seconds or minutes uh, based on the type of uh, resin okay so uh, these things will be useful for uh, maintaining the standard of our incoming and outgoing materials especially in the liquid part and uh, watery liquid uh, is not at all required to be uh, determined for viscosity but uh, somewhat uh, uh, i mean uh, slightly viscous and thick liquids can be measured based on this then uh, in order to uh, determine the time taken for flow cup you can make use of this kind of top model i mean table top model laboratory stop clock and then thermometer is an ideal one so you can have 0 to uh, 200 and uh, i mean um, 10 260 and you got another range is 0 to 120 like that so based on the requirement you can have the thermometer uh, i would suggest zeal thermometer is the wonderful one then uh, watman filter paper so for studying the evaporation rate of uh, thinner this will be useful and also for filtering the liquids it is useful and we have got various grades based on the type of material to be filtered okay 41 44 45 like that 40 and then you have uh, the graduated polypropylene jug so this will be useful especially for pilot plant for measuring uh, instantaneously any viscosity or specific gravity etc and also for transferring the liquid from one container to another container 
and a test tube so for uh, testing the reagents uh, that is uh, this will be useful then uh, you should have some pH paper universal indicator pH paper so where you can find the pH between 0 and 14 then you have got a glass rod and uh, test panels are very important normally it is of uh, 6 to uh, 3 inches 6 inches by 3 inches with proper uh, perforation and the thickness may vary from 0.5 mm to 1 mm and then for uh, studying the specific gravity you can particularly for paint and resins you can use this specific gravity weighing cup okay weight by, by weight by volume we can measure and uh, we can uh, make use of this uh, paint to opacity checking cord uh, with the help of this we can have some rough idea about the pigmentation and the coverage of the paint also and then uh, you have got a cross hatch uh, cellar tape it is a special kind of cellar tape that is uh, you will make such cross 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 mark cut mark using such type of cross hatch uh, apparatus and then we fix the tape on that so that we can pull over the tape to test the uh, that is uh, affected film whether it is uh, adherent to the metal or not so this is called adhesion test okay so uh, this will be useful for any paint testing laboratory then magnifying lens so for surface defects for uh, checking the coating surface defects this is useful and we have got coating thickness gauge also that is uh, the dry film thickness the wet film thickness of these things can be easily studied with the help of this particularly for wet coating this kind of uh, uh, coating thickness gauge is used then for dry film thickness we can use the elco meter and then you have got the conical mandrel for bent test see that is the hardness and flexibility should go together so some paint films will be very harder but it is uh, not flexible so we want both so in that case this will be useful so by applying paint on the panel and uh, after drying we can insert inside the cone and uh, when we press this you are able to uh, that is bend the panel and uh, what we expect is there should not be any tearing of a paint film okay so this is called bent test then impact test uh, that is uh, uh, based on the requirement on the specification uh, the weight around uh, 250 uh, gram or uh, even 500 gram can be made to fall on the painted panel so that we will be studying the impact resistance of the coated panel the coat, coating and uh, we will study uh, that is whether there is any film crack or uh, that is a lack of addition of paint etc and then the pencil hardness test so this is useful for checking the hardness of the paint film so the pencil can be uh, that is uh, draw i mean uh, used to tear the paint film so if you are able to tear the paint film we have got various grade like uh, f h 2 h 3 h 4 h 6 h like that so normally a paint film is uh, uh, expected to pass at least a 2 h so that means the paint film is hard and it cannot be so easily uh, torn with the sharp ends and then uh, laboratory model of hot uh, air woven is required for uh, studying the moisture water content etc and then the paint resistivity meter is also very important in case of uh, i mean uh, that is uh, electro coating or uh, powder coating or uh, that is uh, any uh, electrostatic uh, paints so resistivity of the paint is also very important so with the help of this equipment we can make uh, study the resistivity so likewise we have got so huge list of uh, paint equipments uh, paint test equipments uh, like a glass meter weatherometer etc but i have not included those things i have given the minimum requirements only okay thank you